Hey guys, I'm Matt from Amped Airsoft and I'm here with Evan. And we're going to give you guys a little gear talk on hydration because you need to drink water. It's important. Drink your water. All right, so yeah, in front of us, if you guys can see, we have lots of different hydro carriers and bladders. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Whenever you guys are out there playing, there's kind of two schools of thought. Some guys like to use bladders and other guys like to just use plain water bottles like Nalgene's or you know, just regular plastic water bottles, just carry them around in a bag. We're gonna explain first why you might wanna use some hydration bladders. Well, hydration bladders, yeah, Evan. I guess we'll start off with uh, Sure, most people are familiar with some good old Camelbacks. Uh, and source. And source hydration carriers. Uh, this particular one here, uh, kind of wear it like a backpack. It has straps built onto it. Um, so you can wear it with a chest rig. If you want, you can still toss it over top of a plate carrier yeah. or something like that. But uh, it's a good option to keep lightweight. Um, if you're not bringing a huge load out with you, you can still bring some hydration onto the field without having a Nalgene or some other you know, bottle, canteen, what have you, attached to you. So. Yeah. Um, the main thing about Source and Camelback is like the actual bladder itself. Mm -hmm. They're very strong, they're very durable, um, they're very common, and they're a little bit more pricey, but you get that durability and resilience out of a bladder, which you need because bladders do pop. I mean, it's essentially just a water balloon on your back. That's why we like to sell the Camelback and Source ones because we trust them. Um, they're a little bit more durable than something a little bit cheaper from like Walmart or whatnot. So when it comes to actually carrying around your water, we really recommend actually just spending a little bit of money on the bladder because, you know, like I said before, you need that durability that goes along with it. Um, when it comes to the actual carrier itself, you don't necessarily need a source hydration carrier or a Camelback carrier. Uh, you can get away with like a Condor one or, you know, just a, shoving it in a backpack or something. Here's the bladder it's, itself, so you can get yeah. them standalone. Yeah, you can get them standalone. Still comes with your hose, everything you need to route it. Um, but obviously, Matt said, you can put it in whatever carrier that you want if you already yeah. have one. The most important part is having water on you. Source bladders and camelback bladders and pretty much any bladder, uh, one of the big benefits of them is that you can carry liters of water, like mm -hmm. anywhere to three to four if you really Yeah, even this enough. is a one liter, um, the very compact one. So this, as you can see, takes up about as much space as utility pouch. Um, this particular one has molly webbing on it, so you can put it pretty much anywhere. Yeah, that has one's a like, hose. A, uh, like a back panel mount. Yeah, so those are so really... So is the Camelback one that we have here, it just clips on with clips into your molly and you just mm -hmm. use it on your back. But, I mean, like this guy, you can see it's, this is a three liter bladder. This one is also a three liter bladder. That one is a one liter. You can get two liters. I've yeah. seen fours out there, but they're large. And a three liter, I mean, hell, that's usually enough to, to run three most liter of the day. Is, three liter is a lot of water. Yeah. Three liters is what I usually bring to longer events. So that's usually my wa weekend water. Two liters is probably where you should be aiming to go through in a yeah. day. So whenever you're holding about three liters, you have room to fill up later. Mm -hmm. Another benefit of using a bladder is the fact that, you know, it's really easy to get to your water. You don't have to take anything off of your back. You just get to reach over, grab your tube, shove it in your mouth and drink away. Yep. Um, and I guess before we jump into Nalgene's um, and stuff like that, another cool feature that some of these source hydro bladders have is their UTA. So obviously if you have one of these, you know, in a source pack, you get the little fill valve right on it so you don't really have to remove it from the pack in order to fill it. In Camelbacks you just have to open the yeah, pack. Yeah, Camelbacks the, still pretty yeah. convenient but you know nonetheless if you have this you know rather some sort of backpack um, or map pack something like that it can be sometimes a pain to take that bladder out especially when you have other gear um, in there and you know especially if you're running HPA and you got a mm -hmm. tank and a regulator and all that stuff and you don't want to mess with your hose. Um, the UTA by source will actually allow you you can see in a little depiction to attach this to where you would normally drink from and you can fill it with water bottles or even a hose. Yep. Um, so it makes it really convenient so you don't have to rip your gear apart to refill it um, and it makes it super convenient. So that's oh, yeah. another really cool feature that Source has. And of course, since you know, a lot of people do use 
hydration bladders for you know all sorts of different reasons. You can of course get new tubes, mm -hmm. you can get new bite valves, you can get more accessories like again the UTA. It's stuff that's easily readily available that you can get once your stuff starts to wear out because that does happen. Mm -hmm. Now another really important thing with bladders that a lot of people forget about is cleaning your bladder. That's Incredibly That's pretty much like important. the worst thing ever it's is taking a swig of an uncleaned mm, bladder and just getting that nice It's so gunk. gross yeah. and nasty and it just tastes like mold and everybody <laughs> well, forgets mold so everybody forgets to do it. Uh, some of the bladder. things that we carry to clean your bladder <laughs> are something like this reservoir dryer by Camelback which is basically just like a plastic hanger. Um, you stick it through the front tube it collapses so whatever size hole you have for your your cable back, you just put it into the main fill and then you just let it open up and it'll hang your dryer out, um, expanding the bladder a little bit so air can get down in there and dry it a little bit better. That's where most of the you know issues with yeah. bladder cleanliness happens because they don't dry properly and you just get gross mold in there. Yep. Now, next up, the which is probably the most neglected part oh, yeah. of cleaning your bladder is the hose. There's tools out there which is basically just a, you know, wire with or snake yeah like just a bore snake thing. for your for your bladder hose similarly people don't clean it out so water stays in there and of course a lot of gunk and mold gets in there hopefully you don't have to use this because somehow you figured out how to get your <laughs> bladder hose to dry out properly but eventually you're definitely gonna have to snake yeah. it out and make sure it's clean don't forget to clean these it's super important it also mm. helps the longevity of them because that mold kind of breaks down the plastics and whatnot yeah. so you know you don't need leakiness. It's what you're trying to avoid, especially if you're using a bladder because bleh, bleh. We've talked about bladders. Um, we've briefly covered that you can throw them over your back or you can mount them to your back or with something like this, you can just put it whatever. Um, you can use whatever carrier you really want. Um, we just recommend that you use a source bladder or a camelback because we know them to be durable. Yeah. Um, platypus bladders are also very good. That's, that's another one. Yeah, and if you want to, you know, save a couple bucks, you know, I've definitely been there before with a cheaper bladder, but if you take a good spill, um, I've prepare to have a, a big two liter, three liter water balloon oh, yeah. uh, blow up on your back and your gear and everything. So Yeah, I'm really accident prone, Happens so I just, <laughs> I break like all bladders ever because I just fall. So make sure to keep all of those things in mind whenever you are, you know, a per looking into purchasing a bladder um, or considering what you want to be running that weekend. I really recommend these for l more long-term stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, just because, you know, you're not going to have the chance to go back to your car or back to staging mm -hmm. and grab some water. If you're playing a 15-minute game or, like, CQB or something, you might as well just bring, like, a gallon of water yeah. or just some water bottles and just leave them at staging because you're going to be back in a few minutes. Yeah, this isn't probably something you need if you're doing, you know, just backyard games, like casual events, somewhere where you have the chance to hydrate a lot. Where these really come in clutch is... You know, longer events. Um, we're going to be out. Sanos, the, Centurions. Yeah, where you're going to be out in the field for a while. You're not going to have time to Milson West sit around that, and yeah. stock up. And you know, nonetheless, if you have one, and if you do play the long, longer games here and there, you know, you can always just throw three liters of water in it with some ice cubes, and then you know, leave it at your staging area, and then you got cold water for the whole day. So typically, I recommend that if you are playing games that do not last longer than 15 minutes, you don't really need to bring something like this out there with you. Um, just make sure that you were hydrating between games. That yeah, is the most definitely. important part. That leads us into the next topic of discussion, which is water bottles. Um, usually most of us use Nalgene bottles because we trust them to liter literally just be indestructible. Yeah. Personally, that's where I go because I don't like bladders. Um, because like I previously said, I'm accident prone and I break <laughs> everything. Just for me, having two one liter Nalgene's and a 500 milliliter Nalgene is like the perfect amount for longer games. Um, so like that's what I run at Milsim West, that's what I carry on my back, uh, in my backpack, excuse me, at like MSATO or Centurion, like those 24 hour ops, um, even just day ops, that's usually what I have. Uh, just, yeah. yeah, just cause at those kinds of games, I don't have, you know, lower face protection usually. <laughs> so it's easier, to, easier for me to just drink out of a bottle. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's basically your call, and that's why, you know, there's a bunch of different options. It, you know, I hate to be that guy that says it depends on your play style, but it really does, you know. Um, depending on what kind of kit you're running, depending on what kind of games you're going to, that's, you know, it can make a difference. And That's why I you choose to start, to, like, the whole gear talk segment, mm -hmm. because it's so variable, it's just more of 
Let me explain why you might want to do this and, you know, let yeah. you decide. Or you could be like me, you forget your hydro stuff and then just throw like half a case of water bottles in I, your backpack. I do that all which the time. I've too. done more than once. I do that so, all the time too. But yeah, whatever whatever you do, make sure you have water because I can't stress enough. I've been playing for quite some time and heat casualty is real. It's not, you know, Happens it's not like we're just harking on it just to say, oh, drink water, drink water. There, I've seen so many people get carried out in an ambulance simply because, you know, they thought they were going to be cool just drinking a bottle of water before going out for four hours. And, you know, it's one thing if it's 70, 80 degrees out, but it's another thing if you're wearing full BDUs and a plate carrier and a helmet yeah. and a balaclava, you know, it adds up and you don't realize how much you're sweating when you're in the heat of the moment, you're having fun playing until you're like, something's wrong and then, you know, it's usually too late by then, so. Definitely make that yeah. your biggest takeaway from this video is to drink water before, during, and after mm -hmm. everything. Just always drink water. It's healthier <laughs> and you won't die. Don't drink so, Coke. I mean, do drink Coke because it's delicious, but, like, but on don't occasion. drink too much Coke. Don't put Coke in your hydro by the way. Oh, yeah, so something we should probably gross. talk about yeah. is uh, usually these are only meant to hold water. Don't put stuff like Powerade or anything with sugar, basically, because sugar only promotes the growth of the nasty bacteria and stuff we're talking about earlier. There are, I think Camelback makes tablets that you can flavor your water with, and they're supposed to be uh, less prone to that, but nonetheless, it still kind of promotes it in the same way. It's just yeah. you have less chance of doing it. So um, if you are using those tablets, really, really got to make sure to clean your stuff out when you're done. Um, but seriously, putting Powerade or, you know, stuff like that in your hydro is like big no-no. You don't want to yeah. do that. It'll lead to issues and molding. And it's pretty okay stuff. if you're using something like an algae. Um, yeah, but D different story there. Yeah, different story there because it's basically a cup. But again, like you got to clean your stuff. So yep. just make sure everything's clean. Make sure you are hydrating and, uh, you know, don't forget to clean it afterwards. So double cleans there. But <laughs> if you're looking for hydro, bladders are a great option. We, again, recommend Camelback and Source. And if you don't like that, like I, myself, grab grab yourself a couple now jeans. They're like 10 bucks and they're awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Um, Forgot how, <laughs> forgot finger guns. Outro. Do them finger guns, man. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, we hope that was informative. If you have any comments or anything that you would like to add, of course, throw that in the comment section yeah. down below. Let us know what you're running, uh, what your guys' setups are, what you prefer. Um, you know. Yeah, I'm sure other people would like to see your input as well. So if you have any yeah. input, make sure to put it on, put it down in there. This is a discussion. Um, so yeah. Very much. That that's it. Cool. Cool. Hydration. Drink your water. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And uh, eat your vegetables. And drink your water. We'll see you later. Bye.